Hi and welcome to the how-to guide brought to you by NetAngel. In this episode we're going to talk you through the app and game limits available from Microsoft. So why is being able to control the app and game limits an important feature? We want our children to embrace technology and technology is great whether we like it or not though it's part of our daily lives. As a parent or guardian, it is our responsibility to make sure that we look after our children's digital well-being. This could include a healthy time balance across all devices, appropriate filters in place to ensure your child is not exposed to anything not appropriate for their age, all apps and games are age appropriate, to help with this, Microsoft provide this great feature which is part of the Microsoft family and it really does allow you to look after your child's digital well-being. This has worked really well for me and my family. I've explained to my children why it's important to have a healthy time balance and why, as their parent, there are certain apps and games that I don't want them playing at this moment in time. However, I will allow them to play them once they're older. It is important that this isn't used as a form of punishment. It's about sitting down with your children and explaining the importance of their digital well-being. Using your desired internet browser, type account.microsoft.com forward slash family. Select already set up, sign in now. You are now required to enter the username that you set your Microsoft account up with. Now enter your account password and select sign in. In this example, we're going to use Isaac. So go ahead and select app and game limits. To use this feature, you need to ensure that time limits is switched on. All the associated devices that the limits will apply to are listed below. These include Xbox, Windows 10 and Android devices. All the associated apps will be listed under installed apps. These will firstly be listed by average use and then alphabetically. To the right of each app under sort, it'll give you an insight to the average use. This will also highlight the schedule once configured. By selecting the arrow to the right of the app, this will provide you with a more in-depth insight to their daily usage. It will also identify the devices that the app limits apply to. This includes a Windows 10 PC, an Android phone and an Xbox One. The daily limit allows you to control the amount of time that the children spend on their various apps. To set the desired limits for weekdays, use the slider bar. This also allows you to schedule when you allow them access to individual apps. Isaac gets home from school at 3pm and it's really important that between 3pm and 4pm Isaac focuses on his homework that doesn't require internet access. Once Isaac has completed his homework we are more than happy that from 4pm to 7pm Isaac can have access to Microsoft Edge across all his devices. Using this example, you can see Isaac has a daily limit of three hours and is allowed to access Microsoft Edge between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. during the week. Now let's configure the weekend. So we allow Isaac more time at the weekend. So we're gonna set his daily limit to six hours and we're gonna say from 10 a.m. all the way through to 8 p.m. As mentioned previously, the insight has now been updated to the right of the app to include the schedule that you've just set up. Click on show more to display a list of all the associated apps. You'll notice that alternate internet browsers are automatically blocked. For Microsoft Family to fully function, you need to have Microsoft Edge as your default browser on all devices. For Microsoft Family to work with Android devices, you will need to install Microsoft Launcher. At this moment in time, Microsoft Family is not compatible with Apple's iOS. Now one thing I have noticed is Isaac has installed Call of Duty and I know that's a game that is not age appropriate. So by clicking on the arrow to the left of the icon, this will give you insight to what device it's installed on. Now I know I've set up the correct age rating on his Windows PC and his Xbox One, so he wouldn't be able to install Call of Duty, so I know it's going to be his Android device. By selecting the on switch, it will allow me to block the app completely and disable it on his Android device. Once blocked, you'll get confirmation stating that right now your child won't be able to access this app on any of the devices. If you want, you can unblock this app and set a time limit instead. 
This is something I would do once Isaac is old enough. This will now give me an opportunity to sit down with Isaac and just understand why he thought it was okay to install an app that wasn't age appropriate. It will also allow me to explain why I don't want him to be playing games like this. And remember, it's really important that this isn't used as a punishment. It's an opportunity to sit down and have a conversation. Although Microsoft Family has its limitations controlling the age ratings on Android devices, you still get the functionality to block any apps that are not age appropriate on your child's device. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this how to guide useful. For more how to guides, please visit www.netangel.org and don't forget to subscribe and like and share our videos.